The aftermath of Tropical Storm Issa Eas is a big concern heading into tomorrow's primary day. Power problems and issues with wireless communications are at the top of this list. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robbins reports now from Colchester. The power came back on earlier Monday here in Colchester, so that won't be a problem on Tuesday. But there might be some other things that need to get ironed out before the general election in November. Many consider Tuesday's primary to be a bit of a dress rehearsal for November. I do think there's a great deal of interest in this primary, uh, and it's kind of taken us by surprise a little bit. The importance of tomorrow and its connection to the November presidential election is not being taken for granted. COVID-19 and last week's storm have combined to put many who run the election on edge. Very much so, and COVID is added to that. Um, COVID is added to that. I think it's going to be a very uh, um, interesting election in November. A problem with the system that counts absentee ballots in Colchester has the town clerk in constant contact with the state. That is down and we understand as of a few minutes ago that it's a modem issue which the state will have to come and replace for us today. Problems arise and they're not unexpected. That's why there's always a plan B. Definitely backup plan. Once, um, once it's all in and if we have to go to paper, that's fine. And voters too have backup plans. You can use your absentee ballot or go inside to a polling place and follow well-designed COVID-19 protocol and procedure. I didn't even request the absentee ballot form. The mm -hmm. town sent it to me. I filled it out. I got the form. I filled it out. I dropped it off. Okay, voters, remember, polling places open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Tuesday. And if you have an absentee ballot, you don't have to mail it in. You can go to any town hall in the state and find one of these drop boxes, pop it right in. In Colchester, Mark Robbins, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.